Hey, Core Reporters, welcome back to my channel. Listen, I kid you not, I just got home. It's 11 p.m. I went, I watched Creed 3 with a friend. Then we had drinks. We had hot wine, okay? And then I opened my Instagram, and someone by the name of Nat, thank you, Nat, tagged me in a story saying that Vanderpump Rules stars Tom and Ariana are over. Denzo. Listen, that I saw coming. I never saw this as a couple that was going to last for a lifetime. They just had completely different goals. But it turns out that they're done because he had a mistress named Raquel Levis. Raquel, who obviously stars on Vanderpump Rules with them. I am floored. I am stunned. I am shaking. I am quaking. I can't believe this. Raquel is the one who broke up Tom and Ariana. Wow. Holy cow. This seems to be a pattern of behavior with her right now. She is spiraling ever since her breakup from White Kanye. She has just not been right. White Kanye moved, moved on with a new girl by the name of Ali. And this is basically Ariana ever since. She has just, I mean, sorry, this is just Raquel ever since. She has just been on a spiral, just not sure what to do with herself. She first started flirting with Katie Maloney's ex-husband, uh, Tom Schwartz, and now she's moved on to his best friend, Tom Sandoval. But in between that, she also got with Garcelle Beauvais' son, Oliver, who was a married man at the time. And now here she is with the third man. Wow, Raquel, what is going on? I am telling you guys, whew, and Tom Sandoval too, what is going on with you? I Let's get into the story, and then we'll get into my opinions a little bit later, okay? So the T is saying that um, Ariana found out about the alleged cheating in the last couple of days and ended things with Tom shortly thereafter. We're told producers got word of what went down and made the decision to fire up the cameras with the entire cast to document the fallout in the coming days. And they're hoping to get this footage in the season that's currently airing. Season 10 of Vanderpump Rules, you guys. We talked about this with Jason, formerly down with Jason, now up and out of two about how season 10 of the show has come back with a vengeance. This is an insane season. I don't even know what to say. My heart is devastated and broken for Ariana on one hand, but on the other hand, it's like I said to Nat on Instagram. Let me just repeat it here. Let me zoom in so you guys don't miss out on me. Two things about karma I have to tell you. Number one, karma always comes back. Okay, what goes around will always come around. And I'm saying that because Ariana was once Tom's mistress when he was in a relationship with Kristen Dowdy. They were cheating together. Um, so this is her karma for playing into that and getting it with somebody that she knew already was a cheater, right? And the second thing I want to say about karma is that karma is sexist because the women will always bear the brunt of it. Lala's the same one. She was a mistress, then she got cheated on. But there, women are always the one who face karma at the end of the day. What happens to the men? So that's the second thing I want to say about karma is that karma is sexist. Where is Tom's karma? Because he cheated on Kristen while he was in a relationship with her. He cheated um, uh, on Ariana. Where is his damn karma? Why do they get away with this sort of thing? If you guys have anything to say about that, maybe you can help me point me in the right direction. Please do uh, let me know in the comment section down below. Uh, on the flip side, Ariana, congratulations to you for walking out on that. Too many women try to make it work with men of unsavory character. I am, and you guys know, watching my recaps and whatnot, I have always been a Tom Sandoval apologist. Shannon Van, if you're watching this, you're probably coming to drag me, girl, rightfully for always defending this man. Um, but this, I did not see this coming. I'm floored. Uh, what's interesting, Ariana was with Tom as recently as Wednesday to celebrate the release of his new single and watch him perform with his band. Um, but the two have been on the outs for a while reportedly. Well, that's not surprising because in the trailers, in the previews for this show, we saw like hints of trouble in paradise. So that is definitely not something that surprises me. What surprises me is that Raquel would be the one to get in the middle of this relationship. Raquel's excuse for getting with Tom Shorts, despite Katie being uncomfortable with it, was that she was not super close with Katie. But what's your excuse this time, Raquel? Because you were allegedly super close with Ariana. Ariana has always defended you and stood up for you. And this is what you've done to her, right? After already getting with Sandoval's best friend shorts. Then you also got with Peter. Then you got with Oliver. Like, it's like, I'm sorry, you know, drag me if you want to. But it's like Raquel wants to bang the whole restaurant. Like, she wants to be the female version of Jax. Jax used to be the one banging the whole restaurant. But apparently, Raquel is coming for that title. Uh, I don't know. My heart is broken for Ariana 100%. 
I, this has to be devastating. She and Tom have been together for what, like eight years or something like that. Like that is not easy to let go of. I know that things already seem to have been really difficult between the two of them, but this is not the way to end things. If you want to end things with someone, you do it honorably. You do it with integrity. You don't do it by cheating, especially not with somebody that you all hang out with. Shame on you, Tom. And it pays me to say that because I love him so much. Like he always seemed like such a nice, empathetic, genuine person. Um, but yeah, shame on you, Tom, for hurting Ariana this way. And shame on you as well, Raquel. Raquel, you really seem to be spiraling, girl. I think you need to get help for whatever it is that's going on with you. Your heart is broken, but people get their hearts broken every day. It doesn't mean that they have to lash out by hurting other people. And this seems to be a pattern for you at the point. You're, you seem to be in a vibe where it's like, oh, if I'm hurting, everyone around, around me has to hurt as well. And that's that's not good. That's not the greatest attitude to have in regards to all of this. It's not productive at all. you know. And you need to, like Katie's saying, back the F off of these other relationships. I, wow. The thing is, like TMZ said, this is supposed to air in the season that's currently airing right now. So we will see the fallout of it. We're going to see the tears, the fresh tears. We're going to see the fresh anger. Raquel's ex-boyfriend, James Kennedy, has already been posting Instagram comments about this. He's saying that she's a disgusting person. I don't have the screenshots of it because, again, it's like 11 o'clock. I just came back after like a couple glasses of hot wine. I, I do not have the, the dexterity at the moment to do anything other than this, all right? But yeah, this is going to be wild. James, it's interesting. I know James is going to be really, really, really excited to get his vengeance to talk poorly about Raquel because Raquel has been trying to meddle in his relationship, talking about, oh, he's a repeated cheater. He's this, he's that. Well, what about you, boo-boo? This is your second time. This is your second time, Oliver and now Tom. Tom and Ariana are not married, but in my opinion, they are common law married, right? So when you're intruding in that, it's a pattern for you. So you have no room to talk about James being a cheater, cheater, pumpkin eater or anything like that when you are a two-time mistress at this point. And when you are grimy enough to go behind your friend's back, you know, your friend invites you to these parties, you went to her wedding, you invited her to your engagement party, to your wedding and stuff, your wedding that never happened. And now all of a sudden you're claiming that you weren't friends. She cries in front of you about the idea of you kissing her man and you don't give an F. I'm sorry, but this girl had us fooled. Well, not me. I never fell for the Raquel's or the Britney's. I, you know, I think they're all, they're wolves in sheep clothing and they're done. They're shedding their sheep's clothing and they're like, well, it's wolf time, bitches. And that's exactly what it is. I don't know if she's trying to secure another season on Vanderpump Rules or if this is just who she is. If I don't know. I think that this is who she is, though. That's going to be my best guess. Listen, guys, I have nothing else to say. This just popped up on my Instagram, okay? I have not prepared. I just was like, listen, before you fall asleep here, because I am tired, just fire this up, shoot the video, and then listen to the comments because that is the juicy part. I'm really excited to hear what you have to say about all of this. I will say, though, that I listened to the podcast episode of Watch What Happens Live where Raquel and Sheena were on the show the other day. And Raquel did say when Andy asked who was the hotter, Tom Schwartz or Sandoval, she said that it was Sandoval. So this does not surprise me that she would go for him, but it does surprise me that she would go for him like in the midst of his relationship with Ariana and to hurt Ariana like that. And it does surprise me also that Tom would hurt Ariana in this way, more importantly, right? Um, shame on both of them. Honestly, at the end of the day, I'm disgusted. I really don't like this type of behavior, but we'll see how it all plays out this season as it continues to air on Vanderpump Rules. If you don't already, make sure to watch my weekly live recaps. They go down every Thursday at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Next week, this week, Coming up, I'm going to be with Down With Jason slash Up and Down With too. So yeah, make sure to tune in for that as well, okay? Take good care of yourselves, you guys. Have a great weekend. Bye.